Hey everyone, it's Jason, and I am super excited today. Just got this in, the Magnaflow axle back exhaust system for the 2019-2020 uh, Mazda 3. Uh, we've been waiting for this system to come in uh, for the wife's Mazda 3 here for quite some time. Uh, there's a couple different uh, axle back and cat back exhaust systems available on the market right now, but this is, I love the presentation of this underneath the car with this nice clean muffler. These really, really pretty black uh, slash cut um, round tips that are, I think, a four inch or so, or three and a half. It's, they're pretty big. Um, this should be a super, super easy system to install. All you have is four hangers and uh, two, two flange bolts. And uh, this is gonna be so simple, I'm probably just gonna roll the car up on some, uh, some wheel stands and uh, unbolt the sucker and put it on. And uh, it after I do some walkthrough of the video of installing it, Afterwards, we'll actually uh, do some uh, cold starts and we'll do some drive-by in cars with a good camera with a good microphone uh, to show you guys the difference. We all know what it sounds like when these cars are stuck. They're pretty much silent. So we'll really get some nice uh, some nice shots of the sucker, you know, on the car, getting rid of these little cheapy little aluminum factory things. So uh, stick with the video, uh, you know, if you've made it this far, you know, I know you're probably going to watch the install and how it sounds, so hit that like and subscribe button while you're while you're waiting here for the install to be done. I'd really appreciate it. Uh, the channel's doing really good and I'm excited about it. So let's get going. Well, that was how easy it was to get this thing up with enough room to work on it. Let's kind of do a little inspection what we're dealing with underneath here. Oh, plenty of room just with this on that stands. Uh, as you can see, there's the rubber mounts and uh, there's where it's going to bolt up to the stock system and I did some uh, blaster on it yesterday although it'd be just fine so those will be easy to take off I'll tell you the size of those once I get to them I'm not sure if I'm going to pull the rubber grommets or just take down the whole bracket probably take down the whole bracket it's usually easier so I'll get started and let you know what I do alright here's a little trick uh, spray a little WD-40 on the rubber hangers um, and once you get one side done, if you're working by yourself, uh, just use a jack, you know, and this like holds it up so it's not falling and putting a lot of pressure on the system downstream. So, and then I'll show you how I pried those uh, rubber things off once I get it down. I'll be able to show you real easy. All right, so to take these two bolts off, it was a 14 millimeter socket. That was it. Just goes from the front side here and out. And I know since some people are going to ask a question, I went ahead and weighed the two. The Magnaflow system weighs 27 pounds, and the stock system weighs 31 pounds. So basically, you know, the weight of a Big Mac meal at McDonald's difference. So we won't get much weight savings. <laughs> but to get these, uh, so the stock hangers up inside the car are permanently welded to the car and then these are permanently welded to the muffler so there's no unbolting anything but it was really easy to pop them off i sprayed a little wd 40 on them beforehand from the bottom side i was actually able to just take my crowbar put it up i mean it won't show here but i was able to put it up and pry and actually use the muffler system and they literally just popped off um see i use this edge right here to push and just some leverage to pop them off and I, like I said I hit that little trick with the jack stand to hold up one side once you got both undone so like I did one down there and then I came down here and did both and put the jack stand here and then I finished with that one um, and then this this thing I mean that weighing that much you can easily manage this uh, by yourself so uh, I can show you up underneath the car what you're dealing with now is your pipe hanging here and it did come with a new uh o-ring in the in the aftermarket system and these two new bolts i believe and then uh you got your hangers left up here on each side and uh i'll actually spray a little wd-40 on them again and the stock system and then we'll get the sucker hung and i mean there's really not even any adjusting to do it just hangs from the factory spots Here's the other side, got tucked up in there a little higher. Uh, so yeah, this should be simple, I'll get this on. Uh, just a quick note before I climb up underneath there. Like I said, I WD-40 the hangers. 
but the new hardware that's included actually is a 17 millimeter um, nut and bolt I just put a little Loctite on it for the heck of it um, and this is the supplied gasket it's like a crush gasket uh, so make sure you have your you know one you know a wrench to hold one side and your you know your socket to tighten the other side um, I don't think there's any torque specs on this just tight <laughs> tight as you can uh, but yeah have that ready to go here's another quick tip use the jack stand to lift it up to push those hangers on I guess before we get this thing off the jack stands that's what everybody will see from kind of far away nice clean system right there keep that muffler nice super easy to hook this thing up and push it back into those hangers so before I even start it, I'm going to roll it down off this jack stand. So I'm going to get the good camera out with the good mic. And we're going to have the first cold start. All right, here it goes with the first cold start. to the silent exhaust system from the stock that is a major improvement so I'm on the highway going about 70 70 75 miles per hour here and there is zero drone basically from this exhaust system and um, let's see the rpms are a little over 2,000 and uh, you know I can give it a little You can kind of tell that it's there, but no drone whatsoever when you're in your highest gear. So it's a pretty nice little system, very deep sounding when you're on the highway. So you, there's no drone at all. So I'll get some good shots here of um, sound shots. Then let me get some more in here. Before the battery runs out, some revving up in the car. So, system's on, seems everything seems great. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and, uh, you know, enjoy this uh, exhaust system install. And uh, we'll be updating it as the thing gets broken, how the sound changes, everything. Hit me up with any questions you may have. I appreciate you watching this video. Catch you later. Stuff. Can you grab it like coffin style? It's not crazy. Coffin style? He wants to see it. Ooh, that's so pretty. Ooh, wow. That's pretty. That's huge. That is pretty. Holy crap. Hey, that would that would not. I don't think that would fit on my. <laughs> I can't think? think it's bigger than my car too. This is an axle back system for a Mazda three. <laughs> is it really? Yeah. <laughs> I knew there was something up. I was like, why would Trevor want us to film? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> pretty, huh? And I like the black tips because we were just talking about black. What's on the side of it? The emblem for the company, I guess? Yeah. Oh, yeah. They're Magna Flows. Magna Flows. I was curious. I didn't know what was coming to this monster. Yep, yeah, same as the truck. Magna oh, you're going to be loud. Can't yeah. the exhaust. I can't the... wait. They're going to be loud. I can't wait. Is it going to...
Did yep. it purposely go? The sound adds 10 horsepower. Made for it. Okay. It's also big. That fit. <laughs> okay. You excited? Very. I can't wait to hear it. Awesome. Well, maybe we can get it on over the weekend. Thanks for filming, man.